Hello Virgo stars and welcome to your soul journey reading. In this reading we are going to explore your life path and the lessons you're working on and the greatest blessings that you have for this life journey. But first of all, you guys have a very special connection to Mother Earth Gaia always so no matter what's going on in your life if you guys do meditation to connect with Gaia it will be very healing to your soul like um, being near a lake ocean being in water is for a water sign all right for you guys specifically Virgos connecting with Mother Earth is very renewing replenishing and healing for you guys and again you have a special connection with her so she blesses you you are one of her soldiers this life journey um, you're probably very connected into nature have a love of nature um, love animals um, want to protect animals okay just connected into a nature kingdom all the way around and some of you you could swear that flowers and plants and trees speak to you and that you understand the energy of animals because you do have a very special connection with Mother Earth Gaia and all of the nature kingdom and you have a lot of personal empowerment in nature. It replenishes you and recharges your battery. Many of you may um, identify as, you know, a witch or a pagan or a Wiccan, you know, just being very connected into the elements, um, all the elements and understanding earth and nature and how it all works and how it all fits together. All right. So these here are two cards that speak of Virgo and Virgo energy. There's higher vibrational energies of Virgo and there's lower vibrational energies of Virgo. And you will be working with all of the array of the Virgo energies this life journey, okay? So let's see what this says. You guys are the ruler of the sixth house and look at that service. Service for Mother Earth Gaia. And so it says, a sense of responsibility, sympathetic, humanitarian, enjoy home, domestic affairs, nurture and service others. And lower vibrational, you could be self-righteous or critical, can meddle in others' affairs, can be jealous or egotistical, outspoken and dominating. Okay, so, you know, these are energies that Virgo fluctuates between and you are here for service and you are a nurturer and a very special connection with Mother Earth Gaia. And so um, you are blessed in interesting ways, okay? Also, um, the Fey realm, some of you may be very connected into the Fey realm. Um, and that's not to say that you guys, you know, don't believe in angels, um, all of that. I just, with this Virgo energy, what I'm feeling is a, a deeper connection to Earth and nature and the elements and understanding and perceiving life from that perspective and having a call within to serve Mother Earth Gaia and protect her creatures and be very healing and loving to those around you. Virgos are very accommodating. They want your comforts met. They want you to be happy and comfortable, very hospitable in that higher vibrational energy. Okay, so let's look at the other card. And you are the alchemist. And it says, methodical, aligned, ritualistic, efficient, insightful, healthy, dutiful, discerning, witchy, subtle, pure, refined, accurate, solitary, critical, nervous, perfectionist. You guys have a very sharp attention to detail. You know what is aesthetically pleasing and what is not, all right? That is a gift that you guys have, and um, it could be experienced in a very high vibration, or sometimes it could come across as, you know, being very critical and judgmental. Um, Virgo is a very clean and pure energy as well and the alchemist that's your special connection to Mother Earth Gaia and that's why even here it says witchy all right even if you don't identify as a witch as a pagan as a Wiccan um, you might be very connected into the moon cycles or do like um, candle spells candle magic um, really connected into the law of attraction and energy and just how everything works all right so 
let's pull a card here to see what life lessons you are strongly working on this journey so we have Scorpio energy coming through so if you have a Scorpio north node or you are a Scorpio rising this will be a very very strong message for you so um, these are you know the lessons you're working on and some could apply or all could apply and it says practice discipline and positive change let go of the old to bring in the new enjoy resources without ownership combine assets and partnerships receive support from others and that's a big thing with virgos allowing to be supported showing when you are weak showing when you are vulnerable showing when you are need are in need virgos hide that very well understand others desires and motives take risks that energize so with this coming through the Scorpio energy as lessons you're working on, you guys are very intuitive and empathic, okay, with that water energy coming through as uh, helping to teach you. You're very intuitive and empathic. You feel others, you feel animals, and it doesn't stop there. You feel flowers and plants and trees, like everything is energy and you sense that and you know that at the deepest part of you, okay? but um, you may struggle with discipline in certain areas of your life. Um, you may really indulge at times or overspend, overextend resources. Um, and just because of how sensitive you are, um, you know, be mindful of indulgence of like food or alcohol or substance because with the Scorpio energy, some of you feel things so intensely. You want to disconnect, you want to pull away because it's too much for you um some of you guys probably can't even watch you know those before and after uh videos of animal rescues because even though it has a happy ending it just like destroys you you have this mini death trying to even watch the suffering of that creature at any point some of you are so so sensitive and it, it's hard for you to disconnect your energy and not take it on and feel it as though it is your very own. All right, Virgo. <clears throat> and also with this Scorpio energy, um, there is definitely this element that you're going to work on as a life lesson where you really do try to hide self, hide, um, you know, what you feel is imperfection about self, um, what you feel is less than about self, what you feel is weakness, your vulnerabilities, your wounds, um, your, you know, like um, a, a bird in the wild. If it's wounded or sick, it, it's going to hide that as long as possible, right? That's you guys. You really, um, you know, go into this self-preservation mode. And it's not that you don't want the love and support of others. It's just there's some element of you that will really struggle um, being vulnerable like that. It's one of your life lessons. And, you know, you will give. You are the caretaker. You are the nurturer. You are the healer. You are the fix-it. Let me serve. Let me do for you. Okay? You are somebody who is going to be the friend or the family member that agrees to help do something that nobody else wants to but you're going to do it because it needs to get done like um you know packing somebody's house helping them move cleaning their house um going through their things getting them very organized all right you guys will go the extra mile whereas other signs maybe wouldn't so much okay um but that here is where you've got to learn where you end and others begin and sometimes you guys may be a bit too self-sacrificial all right and um you know even though you do hide um your vulnerabilities and your emotions pretty well 
um, it doesn't mean that you don't want that love given to you and you don't want to be um, fond over like you do you want to know that you are loved you want to know that you matter you need to know that what you do and what you give actually amounts to something all right so if you go and, and you get somebody completely organized their whole house you spend like a day or two doing this and if like within two weeks or a month it's all back to shambles that is when we're not hiding emotions that is when you may go off the deep end okay because you do hide those emotions a lot and keep them to yourself you know you are the hermit in the tarot but there comes a point in a threshold for Virgo where um, once that's crossed it's like kaboom you've stepped the line and you are gonna go in and you are gonna go hard Virgo okay and with this energy sometimes um, you know when you've really done and, and given you know just depending on where you're at in your evolution you may hold that over somebody's head you know um, well I did this for you so you owe me or you're a terrible person because you won't come through all right remember there's higher and lower vibrational for Virgo energy and you will be working with all of those frequencies okay and then we're talking about your lessons right now and so for you guys um, with the Scorpio it there's a lot of um, emotional growth and evolution that you are intending this lifetime but also a lot of um, like you know Phoenix rising from the ash moments for you guys where um, things may completely change the whole entire landscape of your life and every time that happens you are you come back bigger than you were before okay Virgo so never fear any sort of a setback or major change or a period of transformation in your life because you're only going to be stronger than you were previously with that Scorpio energy all right and so you have sixth house with eighth house so this is also a lot of lessons about sharing resources with family members with romantic partner throughout life and you may be excessively um, giving and, and you need to learn you know how to let other people fall down sometimes or it could be you know that you're just so fluid in in what you do and give that you expect that and at times you may rely on others too much okay this is general reading so only apply what fits to you but that is the energy of this so let's look at your biggest blessing for this life journey. Pleasure, yes. Virgo, you are meant to have a lot of wonderful experiences. All that you do and give and be to others and to this world will always return back to you. Things will come to you um, in times you need it the most. And at other times, you're going to have a very long streak of luck, of prosperity, of abundance. And not only that, you have a special gift to really make somebody feel good, make them feel important make them feel seen and heard and cared about like you have a special gift with that with this card coming through Virgo so let's pull a spirit guide and see one of the strongest spirit guides that is working with you for this life journey Right, so we have the Hunter of Honor. This is an Earth Spirit, okay, that is in, you know, um, their Earth journey, but for this particular cycle, they have chosen to remain in pure conscious form. And this guide, and you have definitely spent lifetimes together, and this guide is going to work very, very hard to help you evolve and achieve all you set out for this lifetime. Through your evolution, this guide also evolves right along with you there's a, a special connection between you and this guy
guide. I don't feel like you and this guide have ever shared a romantic incarnation. This is more of like um, being really strong friends, uh, like um, you always uh, keep each other in check in life journey, okay? And so for this lifetime, this particular soulmate of yours is going to remain in pure conscious form throughout your entire life journey and is going to guide you and will come in strong, hunter of honor. That means this guide is always going to keep you on the right path. So when you do something that isn't in your highest good or is intentionally mean or hurtful you know we all do it we all get triggered this guide is very much going to convict you for it you're going to feel a lot of guilt and remorse and that's this guide checking your inner compass for you and you know these roles have been reversed you've remained in pure conscious form and you know directed this guide when they were in physical form and you check their um, internal compass as well like that's a gift that you give each other and when you're feeling really low about yourself this guide tries to bring in love and remind you of your worth of your divinity of your value okay so this spirit guide is like your true north your inner compass that's always going to keep you on the right path okay so let's see what other <clears throat> spirits are around you that are coming in strong Okay, Angel of Love with Archangel Jophiel bringing wisdom, also fairies and angels. Not surprised to see the fairies there. Um, you know, this is the fae realm big time. And also, you being connected into the elements, into nature, into Mother Earth Gaia. All the earth spirits support you and guide you and speak to you and bless you. You have a gift, Virgo. Own it. Know it. The wind speaks to you. The ocean speaks to you. A grain of sand, a seashell, you know a bird, a flower, a leaf, I'm stepping into a forest, I'm stepping into any area that has a lot of um, natural, you know, nature about it, you feel it, you sense the energy, and this will only grow stronger as you evolve through this life journey. But the uh, Fey realm, very, very strong. Um, in your energy helping you guiding you do not uh, question that it is there and Archangel Jophiel bringing you a lot of wisdom all right let's pull some astrological energies to uh, go deeper into the um, lessons as well as the blessings Okay, so we have sextile opportunity, and this says collaborates, assists, explains, provides opportunity, creates possibilities for, opens doors, promises, brings insight to, communicates, welcomes, develops. So this is energy that is working with you through your life lessons, and this is just a confirmation of that service and nurturer that you truly are to everyone um, and all of humanity, all of the nature kingdom, all right? So there is actually some blessing in this to help you move through your lessons this lifetime. You really will um, feel at times as though, you know, if it weren't for you, what would X, Y, Z do? Like, you help a lot of people. You open a lot of doors. You, you would give the shirt off your back. Know that you respond in those ways because it is part of your journey. And through each experience, you grow and you evolve. And you are in alignment. And you have this guide that sees to it. 
Now look at that, your own house. You are the ruler of the sixth house and that's coming in. Craft, you are mastering the Virgo energy this lifetime. Work, details, health, well-being, diet, service, daily rituals, contribution, organiza organization, purification, skills, apprenticeship, method, that is you. You are mastering this Virgo energy with the assistance of this Scorpio energy. So Virgo, you're just natural calling to do, <clears throat> to give, to be of service to others, to Mother Earth. That is written in your soul. That is, that is the calling of your soul, the calling on your life. <clears throat> because you are really mastering this sixth house energy. I highly recommend you do further research about the sixth house and what it means if you don't already know because you are mastering that. So also if you are a Virgo sun in the sixth house, oh my gosh, this reading is probably feeling like a personal reading to you. All right, over here for the blessings, we have this seventh house relating, which is the house of Libra, the house of relationships. So you are very blessed through relationships, but you are also a huge blessing to others who know you, who connect with you. And it says partners, <clears throat> companionship, best friends, marriage, relationships, opportunity, equilibrium, sharing, commune, justice, balance, social awareness. So Virgo, you are absolutely meant to have a true love this life journey. All right. And that's a huge blessing to you more than it will be um, a bad experience for you. Doesn't mean you won't go through some bad relationships romantically, but there is a very special soulmate love for you this life journey. Absolutely. But over there, as a blessing, that seventh house, Virgo, you are popular. People like you. People relate to you. People want to be in your energy. And sometimes you might feel like people only call upon you when they're in need or they're suffering. And that hurts your feelings. And the reason why they think of you, Virgo, is because of that beautiful, natural energy of healing. The gift of you. The way that you make people feel so special, like they matter, like they're the only one in this world. That is a gift that you possess, okay? Um, you are meant, and you like to be hermit, but you are meant to know a lot of different people in this journey. You are going to help a lot of people this journey. Next out, we have conjunction, empowerment, combines with, enhances, strengthens, joins forces, activates, intensifies, authorizes, allies with, concentrates, overrides, overwhelms. So Virgo, with this connection, or I'm sorry, conjunction coming in as part of your blessing, that is just you. This is what you do for people, okay? And very next would be Mercury, which is the planet who rules you. Yes, you are intelligent, Virgo. Um, but you help so many people. And it's not just like you're always giving away resources. It's your words. It's your laughter. It's your sense of humor. It's your wisdom. It's your advice. It's your energy. It's your essence. It's your nature. You're fun. People want to be around you. People want to talk to you. They're very drawn into your energy. And um, for you guys, I'm getting the sense um that you guys are going to have a lot of um, interested individuals throughout your life journey who want to be with you romantically um, of both sexes here. Okay, you just have an effect on people and it's because of your connection to Mother Earth Gaia. It's just that natural um, healing energy as you walk around and you make people feel good and you are a protector. You will stand up and fight for somebody that you love or a cause that you believe in and you will not back down. Okay, and so um, very popular you are, Virgo. A lot of people drawn into your energy, wanting to know you, wanting a piece of you this life. All right, let's pull some tarot on your life path.
Okay, so we have the Five of Cups. There you are, my hermit Virgo. I knew it. There you are. You guys definitely need your personal space. Your home is your sanctuary. Some of you even have like gardens or just uh, different trails where that is your sanctuary. And yes, look at that. The Empress. That could not be a better card to depict the Virgoing energy. And um, here this is. This could be when you are acting lower vibrational. But let's get them all out. And then we will discuss Three of Pentacles up right under you. Yes, you make magic. You are a team player. You help so many. And yes, here it is. You are meant to have a beautiful, true, a soulmate love. Virgo and over here under the lessons we have this moon energy and over here under the blessings look at you you turn into this ten of pentacles you are this uh, person here very abundant very wise has created an empire for themselves and now advising the next generation that is lovely that's over here on your blessings okay Virgo, so with this Five of Cups and this Page of Swords, this goes back to the Scorpion energy where you really do keep things to yourself for as long as possible. You hide a lot and then you get to the point where you just snap and you can verbally slice somebody down in like just to like two sentences, all right, when you've really been pushed or triggered to that point and throughout this life journey you are working on overcoming these specific triggers and you will evolve out of this page of swords energy okay because even if somebody had it coming you will always feel a lot of guilt and sadness and remorse um, for bad words exchanged for snapping at somebody for saying something mean for cutting somebody off in traffic, you know, whatever it is, you will always feel a huge sense of guilt and remorse, and that's thanks to this guy who is your true north, okay? And the reason for that is because all of these different experiences are helping to evolve that emotional body, which is part of your evolution for this lifetime, okay? And then here you are as the hermit and the three of pentacles. You are a wise sage. You do need your space. Um, you probably prefer to be alone more than in the company of others. When you do want to socialize, you are fun. You want to get out. You want to let your hair down. You want to have a good time. All right. But um, this hermit with this three of pentacles is really talking about you in the sixth house where you are in service to others throughout this life journey, service to um, Mother Earth Gaia. And it's just a natural calling from your soul because you are the empress. Okay, that is your energy, whether you are male or female, you are the empress, you are uh, very abundant. And, you know, if you're going through struggles in your life, really start connecting to Mother Earth, doing a lot of grounding meditations, she will provide for you, you are one of her soldiers, this life journey, she will always be there for you, she will always protect you, you see that star above her head, that's the spirit guide right here, okay. That's the spirit guide, your true north, always guiding you. And then all these other stars around you are all your other spirit guides, but that true north guiding you. And in this position, she is abundant. She is in harvest. She is very fertile energy that will never deplete. That is who you are, Virgo. You are this empress, and you are meant to have a soulmate journey. And there's your spirit guide right here again saying, I will align you to this when the time is right, when you've gone through certain lessons and you have emotionally expanded to the point of this connection, then you come into alignment. This way, it's newer. This way is that soulmate, that twin flame. All right, so you've got that. Now here, we've got the moon um, coming through as energy through your lessons and this is talking about your emotional body how you are going to hide a lot you feel a lot um, some of you can be very moody or go through bouts of depression and part of that is learning how to open up and share yourself with others and learning how to be vulnerable and knowing that's not a sign of weakness because you always want to be a rock a pillar of strength a beacon of light for others it's just a calling in your soul and you don't want to burden others 
others with your needs and your problems, Virgo. But you that's something you've got to learn to do this lifetime is really opening yourself up and allowing others to help you, allowing others to see what you perceive as weakness and failure. And I'm not talking about having a confession session with your best friend about things you feel guilty about. No, this is truly exposing your heart and soul to its greatest depth and having no shame and fear in that because with the Scorpio energy and then the moon, Virgo, you feel deep. You feel things very, very deeply. And over here, this Ten of Pentacles as your blessing. Um, after you go through and, you know, uh, master certain life lessons, you will evolve into this beautiful, wise sage, okay? And, um, you know, we've got this uh, emblem here and um, the Virgo emblem right there. And that, I don't know, I think that's Venus, right? Yeah, that's Venus right there. So we've got Venus, that's you, that's your heart. And Virgo, you coming into abundance by following your heart, by allowing your heart to open and expand. And once you complete that, you come into a lot of abundance and have a very comfortable life, okay? And then you also provide for you the next generation of your family um, or humanity somehow, some way. All right, let's uh, pull some cards and see what doors open for you as you move through this life journey. light dancer illumination the radiant self shining soul this is here for your lessons okay you will always bounce back because of your connection to mother earth gaia no matter what you go through you will always be illuminated by her she will always give you the energy and then you see right there she's reaching for that star you are this beautiful fairy okay and that uh, star spirit guide right here your true north you are the light dancer. For your life path, we have the Mother Awakens Compassion Nurture Guidance. Look at that. There it is. Your connection to Mother Earth, the Virgo energy. Yes, the Mother Awakens. Your greatest wealth, Virgo, is in your heart space. You see that rainbow going to the heart space? Um, as you go through life and you um, master these different lessons, you open that heart space wide and you are just this unstoppable beam of light of love oh virgo if you know your energy was already feeling pretty loving and mothery and nurturing but this just goes to a whole new level right here and now here with your blessings we have the tree of illumination truth revelations understanding this is you always coming into the answer, always seeing things from a higher perception eventually, and you giving a lot of good and sound advice to others, bringing people into truth, into awareness of self, all right? So you are the light dancer and the tree of illumination and the beautiful soldier of Mother Earth, Gaia Virgo. You are beautiful. Let's pull you a special message from your angels. Oh, you got the rainbow, Virgo, and look at that. Yes. You are a jewel, even though you may not see it. Even in the darkest time, you shine eternally bright. You are surrounded by an aura of love and a pot of gold waits you beyond the horizon. 
all will clear soon. Trust and continue to follow your dreams. You are eternally blessed. Look at you, Virgo. Oh my gosh, that gave me chills. That was so beautiful. So, Virgo, those are your messages for your soul journey. I am sending you guys lots of love and light. Take care.